Okay, this is how I want this to be on here, I think. So now what you do is you take each of these four feet. They're just sitting on there now. What you do is you pop part of the foot through the motherboard, and that's what holds it down. You want to be careful when you do this. You have to press these firmly, but if you, if you just have the motherboard sitting on like a cardboard box like I do, you don't want to push it too hard because you can actually crack the motherboard if you push down on these too hard. And so you want to use firm enough pressure, but also be very gentle. And um, sometimes what I'll do is, is actually put my, put my hand on the back of the board to support it, just to make sure I'm not bending the board and cracking it. And so let me push this first one down here until it clicks. Did you hear that click? And then here's, I'll push this one down. All right. So that's snapping that down. Three down, one to go. And now that heat sink and fan is securely held on and it's not going to go anywhere. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect this power um, cord. It'll only go on there one way. You'll, on the back of the uh, power cord for this fan, you'll see a little bump with a couple of plastic ridges on it. Those ridges go on this little white, um, I don't know what you call it, piece of plastic back here, so that it'll only go on one way. Now, I think a couple of those four pins are for power, and a couple help communicate um, the fan speed, so that when the, um, if it starts getting hotter, it can actually crank up the power. Okay. So now that power connector for that fan is on there. Now, I guess while I have it out here, the next thing we'll do is we'll put in the memory chips into this motherboard.